do dream team it's your boy d neil back with another reaction video guys here we are with how exciting would it be to spend a day with the german autobahn police how exciting do y'all think that would be i think that would be pretty lit see how fast they got to change hmm because there's certain parts of the autobahn that's free to go however fast you want there's other parts where you got to go to speed limit Let's just jump into the video and see how interesting it is. But before we do, make sure you subscribe, ring the notification bell, get a video a thumbs up. Let's do this. 25 from 21. Und soll man mit euch zusammen den Verkehr runterbremsen? So verstanden. Seid ihr bereit? Okay, let's go. Ja, hinten fühlt sich noch ein bisschen schlimmer an. <lacht> Sagt jetzt, was wir machen. Wir haben jetzt einen Verkehrsunfall mit Oh. Normally, everybody. And I watched the video, you know what I'm saying? Out in German police or ambulance or anybody coming through. Everybody split to the side perfectly. Cops come straight down the middle. It's amazing. Everybody making that part. They part in the Red Sea. Letting these police get right to where the accident is. Perfection do everything to avoid the police but today I, i'm riding along i legit do anything every, anything and everything to avoid the police style i i don't even want to be friends like because i'll just try to keep my distance <clears throat> Did you know that the German Autobahn has its own police force? Tom I did not Hunter, know that. Seen here on the left, and Alex Lattendorf work as Autobahn police officers. They monitor traffic on a 220 kilometer stretch of highway in the German state of Hessen. And this is the car they use, a BMW 530 hey. diesel with 265 horsepower. They also carry guns and wear bulletproof vests. So how dangerous is their job? Gefährlich wird es natürlich immer, wenn wir auf der Autobahn das Fahrzeug verlassen müssen. Violence is not an issue for you. Like having to use your guns, you're not afraid of drivers being armed with weapons. These aren't necessarily your concerns. Also in Deutschland müssen wir zum Glück nicht bei jeder Verkehrskontrolle damit rechnen, dass jemand eine Schusswaffe zieht. That's what I was gonna say. I was gonna say that in Germany, y'all, they ain't gotta worry about that. They... From videos that I've seen, it's, it'd be very rare for something like that to happen. So they, they don't have to stress about it like here in America. And they have stricter gun laws, uh, whereas here in America, much looser gun laws, where it's almost like potentially everybody pulled over could have a gun. Um, wir sind natürlich dafür trainiert, immer zu zweit Verkehrssicherheit äh, zu schaffen. Wir machen auch Kontrollen immer zu zweit. Das ist anders wie in Amerika. We are now on a mission to find out what's happening. Apparently there's an accident on the highway. We drive through what the Germans call a Rettungsgasse, or a special emergency lane made by drivers on the Autobahn. Luckily, only cars were totaled. Remarkably, oh the drivers God. had only minor injuries. Können wir euch irgendwas noch helfen? Nö, nee, eigentlich nicht. Dann hat sich das alles aufgestaut, alle haben gebremst, einer nicht. Ja, alles klar. Uh -oh. In the US, as you may know, the US Highway Patrol is also responsible for highway safety. However, they yes. do control speed as well. Um, and often is the case they hide behind bridges, as I yes. know from personal experience, yes. to catch speeders. <laughs> Yeah, they do, God dang it. They hide behind any and everything in the darkest of places in every little nook and cranny and any, yeah. You just gotta, you gotta always keep your eyes open. When driving, if you decide to go over the speed limit, dog, you better keep your eyes peeled. I know they got the GP, you got GPS where it'll tell you where cops at now, which is nice, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes cops be moving and then don't update on the GPS fast enough and you don't know they there and you get you get pulled over. But yes, uh always keep a lookout for the police. Always keep your eyes peeled. That's one thing I tell you. But here that's a different police patrol that controls the speed on the Autobahn. So you're not out here to catch speeding cars. What's your mission on the Autobahn? Yeah, ja, bei der Autobahnpolizei sind wir hauptsächlich mit der Verkehrsunfallaufnahme betraut. Uh, natürlich kontrollieren wir auch Fahrzeuge. Wir gucken, ob die Fahrzeugführer 
die nötigen Fahrerlaubnisse haben, ob die Alkohol getrunken haben, ob die vielleicht Drogen genommen haben. Wir haben hier besonders auf der Autobahn internationalen Verkehr. Wir haben viel mit Güterverkehr auch zu tun. Among the international traffic is a truck from Poland, which attracts the officer's attention. They quickly react to remove it from the road and bring it to a spot where routine vehicle checks are taking place. <gasps> After reviewing the driver's papers, checking his freight and conducting a urine test, it turns out that oh, he wow. was indeed in violation of a few traffic laws. Er hat keine Lenk- und Ruhezeiten. Auf den Lenk- und Ruhezeiten vermerkt er auch, wo er gestartet ist, wo er angekommen ist, sein Kilometerstand und so weiter, damit man das alles nachvollziehen kann. Das kann man in dem Fall nicht. Und das ist schon oh. ziemlich schwerwiegend im Güterverkehr. A potentially costly oh. mistake for this truck driver. As someone already told us, one of their main jobs is to check drivers for alcohol consumption. I have some German schnapps now that I'm just going to put in my mouth and swirl around and see if it makes any difference. I want to do it. Surprisingly, it does make a difference, so the tests continue. <laughs> I didn't drink anything. What's happening? In Germany, for drivers under 21, there is a zero alcohol tolerance policy. After oh, that, wow. drivers with a blood alcohol level from 0.5 are considered unfit for the road. Ah, that sieht gut aus. Also hier wird jetzt erstmal nichts aufgelöst. Yay! <laughs> Dang, right, they keep me strict. They keep me strict for sure over there. But I mean, that's a good thing. You don't want people drinking and <laughs> driving a car, dog. Like, that's as dangerous as it gets, dog. Putting their life and the lives of others at risk. I didn't know all the rules about, like, transporting freight. Transporting stuff, you gotta have all that information down when you're transporting things so they can be able to track you and everything. That's very interesting. I, I had no idea about those laws. And I, do they have those laws here in America? I would assume. I don't know. On the highway, we're heading out on the next mission, and once again, very fast. Beispielsweise die Geschwindigkeit fahren sie in den USA gar nicht, ne? Nein. Not unless it's a high speed chase. We reached 219 kilometers per hour. That's 136 miles per hour. I feel bad for the people that are trying to get out of the way. There's debris on the Autobahn. Officer Hartung performs a maneuver to stop the traffic behind us so his partner can remove it safely. As you know, there's this big debate in Germany about whether or not to have a standard speed limit. So as police officers and as fast drivers are you for or against a general speed limit in the country also meine private meinung dazu ist dass ich ein geschwindigkeitslimit mm. auf autobahnen nicht schlecht finde privat fahre ich selbst nicht besonders schnell und auch im dienst zeigt sich immer wieder dass unfälle häufig mit zu hoher geschwindigkeit zu The speed limit debate in Germany has been going on for decades. About 65% of the entire Autobahn network currently has no limit. Oh. Well, that was more excitement than I bargained for. What impressed me the most about these officers is how quickly they reacted to the action on the Autobahn and also how cool they remained under pressure. I definitely have a renewed respect for the work they do. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see I more did. about myths of the Autobahn, then check out my other report mm. right here. We got to check that out too. Uh, but yeah, that was that was a fun video to watch. And uh, uh, I don't know how many accidents there are on the Autobahn, so it's hard for me to give an opinion. But depend if there's minimal accidents, I'd say keep let people go as fast as they want to go. Let people fly. Let people push their car to the limits. It's cool, it's fun, it's exciting. Uh, but if there is too many accidents, of course, you got to make the road safe. So you'd have to get a speed limit. But 
I'm on the side until that. Let them go as fast as they want. That's all we got. Make sure y'all subscribe. Ring notification bell. Get a video a thumbs up. It's your boy Dina out.